We are now a nation of haters. Hate calls, even death threats. Fending off threats of violence. Get off me. A bloody fight erupts after a woman in Manhattan Beach throws coffee at a man not wearing a mask. I get death threats uh, not every day, but close to every day. Vulgarity that was just unleashed at me in ways that I couldn't even understand where that was coming from. It all gone too far. The presumption of grace means you don't assume that the person who you're in combat with on social media or cable TV is a bad person. The nature of our political discourse, our social discourse, in many cases, our family discourse needs to shift from hate to, to grace. There's a lot of people say, I'm all for this, but I need a pass. I need a pass for my uncle, who's, who's a bigot. How can they show grace, for instance, to someone who voted for the presidential candidate they did not vote for? And so I know for many people, the president is someone they don't feel they can give a presumption of grace to. I don't think this is going to work if people want to pass on 75 or 80 million people. Uh, that's a too big a group to say, well, they're not going to get the presumption of grace. What propels this presumption of hate? The four-headed monster starts with Twitter. The four-headed monster, it consists of four elements. The thing that they share in common, all four elements, all four heads, is they don't have any concern for facts. They don't have any concern for due process, for prior relationships. They don't care much about past success. They don't care much about past good works. They don't care much about humanity. And most of all, they don't care about grace. What we need to do is we need to build a good mob of grace on Twitter. I'm hoping a lot of you are already on Twitter. If not, we're gonna start doing tutorials for some of you to get you on and teach you how to work. We have the capacity to try to change things.